Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And as you may know by now, I'm always on the outlook for unusual museums. Found another one here in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm a big fan of mustard. Can't stand mayonnaise. <laughs> and I think ketchup is only for french fries or the fried potatoes. And it really irks me when I get a hamburger someplace, I forget to tell them mustard and they put mayonnaise and ketchup on it. Who would want that? I don't know. <laughs> that's not good in my opinion. So that's what attracted me to the Mustard Museum for one thing. So I'm going to go in and show you what's in the Mustard Museum. And they also have out front here a really nice fountain. So let's go inside they have two floors here the top floor is the store and the bottom floor is the museum so I'm going to show you around the museum here starting off with a Canadian mustard world's largest mustard pass and did you know there are 27 virtues of mustard? <laughs> Just going to show you the top row here. And here's a display of various types of mustard. Here's a mustard with a hint of honey. These are all foreign brands of mustard. Here's some European mustards. Norway, Belgium. Look how many German mustards there are. Quite a few different brands. Wow, look at all these. And this lady looks like she is just dazed at all the mustards. These are mustards from the various states. Texas, Vermont, and Utah has jalapeno mustard from Bryce, Utah. Pennsylvania has a lot. And Rhode Island. I wonder how many states. Maybe every state has at least one of its own make of mustard. And if you're into organic foods, there you go. Illinois has a lot. You got four rows there. And one, two, three, four, five, six rows up here. Oh wow, just from Indiana. Even Hawaii has some mustards. Look at this one. Maui onion and garlic. <laughs> and as you might expect, California is loaded with mustard brands. And not only that, the California mustards, another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. Plus these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, 17 rows of mustard just from California. <laughs> This shelf is just for French's. They're from New York. And there's other various mustard related things in the glass cabinet here. There's a box of various mustard seeds. 
And here they have a display of mustard spice. All these different kinds of mustard spices. And here is the British collection. Wales, Ireland, Scotland. By the 19th century, mustards were the rage. There were separate ones for men and for women, even for children. By 1812, France claimed no less than 84 distinct mustards. Some are ground with vinegar, wine, or mustard lotions. peace theater. Some are flavored with capers, anchovies, herbs, or combinations of them all. Watch that mustard movie <laughs> if you come here. And here are some mustard based ointments. Have you ever taken a therapeutic mustard bath like that lady is? <laughs> mustard ointment. Wonder what you would use that for. Here's the Canada case. A lot of mustards from Canada. And look what we have here. A mustard vending machine. How about that? I bet you've never bought mustard from a vending machine. Am I right, folks? <laughs> I gotta try this whole grain mustard. I like whole grain bread, so maybe I would like that on it. Let's see what else they have around here. Have you heard of Mr. Mustard? Mean Mr. Mustard? Well, this is his wife's kitchen. <laughs> this guy got a license plate. From Poupon University, I guess is what he was referring to. <laughs> and here's a board game called Please Pass the Mustard. <laughs> here's an actual license plate somebody got. Boy, this guy is happy. And I bet you didn't know this. <laughs> Mustard M&M's. <laughs> Here's a tiny little railroad car for mustard. <laughs> wow, this place has got all kinds of things. There's a blow-up mustard. <laughs> Frenches. And guess what this is? Didn't know that. Here's a hoops carnival game where you take these rings and if you can toss one onto a bottle of mustard, then you get a free sample bottle. <laughs> they should have that in county fairs. Well, let me give you a wide view of the whole room. It's all this one room. Really interesting. All these mustard related things and all the different brands of mustards. Here's some mustard t-shirts. <laughs> America's Mustard College. Mount Horeb Mustard Museum. Hoop on you. And it's almost National Mustard Day, August 6th, which is celebrated right here in Middleton, Wisconsin, which by the way is just a suburb of Madison. All sorts of displays. There's a poster for it. They also have a big collection of mustard pots. Case number two. 
And here's two more cases of mustard pots. How about that, folks? Oh, this one's got a little spoon attached to the side of it. And here's case five and six of mustard pots. <laughs> Cute. This is their store, gift boxes of uh, things you can buy. Here's the Poupon You t shirts. And here we have cranberry mustard, chipotle, sweet hot pepper, hot banana pepper. I bet they got a special mustard for whatever your liking is and they have a free sample table here where you can sample various mustards before you buy them there's some in a cold storage they've got some samples here too this is beer mustard it tastes kind of plain. The stone ground. Good flavor to it. Sesame honey. Well, that's different. This maple peppercorn. That's hot. I want to spread that on pretty thin. Just some habanero and horseradish. Dill pickle. Oh, I like that. So these are all the various mustards that you can buy. And there is just... Gotta be a few thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> just about anything you can think of how about wasabi horseradish and they have some that are fruit based cranberry Robert Rothschild sesame honey mustard Champagne garlic honey mustard. Raspberry honey. Well folks, I bet you were not expecting this video. <laughs> and don't let this happen. Good day.